for tuning in. If you're new to the channel, my name's Kelty. I do a series called Athleisure Adventures where I take a piece of fitness clothing and take it on my day. We do some shenanigans, we do some fitness, we pet some dogs, and we see how said athletic wear holds up into a daily life so you get a better review of it. What I have on the menu for you today is Nike Combat Pro Leggings. So you've probably seen these before. The Nike Combat Pro shorts all over Instagram, like most famous shorts of Instagram because it's about fitness, squat food. These bad boys are just the pant version of them. Well, crops, they're crops. They're technically called the Nike Pro Kulo. I will be wearing these throughout my day, throughout my workouts, work, play, whatever it is I end up doing today and let you know how they hold up. Let's go take on the world in leggings, stretchy pants, pantaloons. I'm actually off to brunch right now with a friend. Normally leggings I compare if you can wear them with like regular clothing. These are like super athletic wear, like they are not like a wonder under where it's a plain legging that you can really dress up. This is pretty much like fitness. This is fitness. I would recommend, you know, trying to match a top. So like either a neutral top or I took out some of the black and matched it like that. And that's how you can make it a bit more put together. I want to recommend this for like normal leisurely wear. They're pretty much like you got to embrace the athleisure look if you want to wear these casually. Price, they're 55 Canadian. So they're on like the lower end of performance lighting prices. Ooh, that humidity though. Ooh. Okay, some things I noticed right off the bat about the pants is they're like a crop length and then they're a mid rise, but you can pull them up higher, so they're just below your belly button. Keep in mind, I have a really long torso. But when I pulled them up to be like more high rise, it bad camel toe. Not like I was hiking them up and like giving myself a wedgie, just where I would naturally kind of sit. Yeah, so it's kind of giving me camel toe. And they're not squat proof. Nike, I've had faith in you. I've loved you forever. And you release a pair of pants that aren't squat proof? Why? How can you do this to me? Now, I will say these are like the same material, same fit as the combat shorts. And those are squat proof. Those are fine in terms of see-throughness. Uh, I think it's more the pattern of these. Oh, it's kind of raining. It's like so humid. It's, you can see the water. Oh my God, St focus, Kelly. focus. I think it's more the pattern and the color and maybe I got the wrong size. I don't know, but I got the same size I always get, which I think, yeah, I got an extra small. I actually got a small and like in the legend pants, I got an extra small and I tend to fit small in Nike. So that's why I'm like a little offset by these. They fit just like the combat shorts though. So this I would say is like the equivalent of a four in Lululemon. The small in these is like a four Lululemon. Comment below if you've noticed different sizing for these. Cause it could be different for you. They're here to interview me. Just kidding. To brunch we go. This is one of the coolest store signs I've ever seen. It's pretty neat. Hmm. Oh, I thought these would spin a lot easier than they do. This is a challenge. It's not nearly as fun as I thought it'd be. Ugh. Mermaid art. It's so foggy that like literally where that sign is is where the ocean is and you can't see anything. It's crazy. I meet up with my friend John and we live like opposite lives in a way because he was originally from Nova Scotia, moved to Edmonton, and now moving back to Nova Scotia for like an extended period of time versus I was from Edmonton, moved to Nova Scotia, then we moved back to Edmonton. So, this is where we're trying. Never been, hoping for the best. Fall into the sunken place. <laughs> it was a delicious brunch. I had some eggs at Benny. Uh, Kelty, why are you walking back to the brunch place? I've got my wallet. Why am I like this? But it's all sunny now and you can see the ocean. Hey. Yeah, <laughs> thank you so much. No Appreciate it. Now, if you're going to lunch with someone who's fashionable brunch, I was gonna say, not lunch, 
anyone to wear something that's really dressed up and leisurely, I would not recommend these pants. But my friend John, a real fitness goer, another self-employed person, so I knew it would be athletic wear, but he sweatpants kind of deal. So comfort, on point, aesthetics, me. I will say I really hate this length of pant because if you have short legs, it just shows off how short your legs are. So I always recommend if you have short legs, full length or like seven, eight, don't go for like the crops. As you can probably see, it just makes my legs look uber, uber short. But if you have really long legs and you want to make them look shorter, these like crop length are perfect for you. Now it's actually, oh, sorry for this lighting. It's actually turning out to be a lovely day, which says a lot about these pants because it was super hot. It's really hot to the point I had to like take off my hoodie and I started sweating and these are really breathable. They're quite thin though, so it's not like they're the most amazing material and groundbreaking, it's just they're thin. So that's a plus. So if you're someone who sweats a lot, they'll be good. Speaking of sweat wicking though, uh, they are a four-way stretch and just like second skin, not compression, but I'm gonna go test these out in my workout, see how they hold up. Actually, Chris Pratt and John Krasika, I can't say his last name, AKA Jim from The Office, best television show of all time. Do not question me on that. It's just, it's just a fact, it's science. Did this workout on Memorial Day to like honor the troops and it was like a one mile run, 100 push-ups, what up, bird? birds are everywhere. Like 100 chin-ups, 100 squats or something in another mile run. So I'm just doing a take on that. I just thought, I was like, hey, this sounds kind of like a fun idea. I'll see how these hold up. And yeah, if you want to try that workout, go for it. It's a fun way to stay active on this beautiful day because I think I'm going to go do it out on the track. Work on my tan. So my tan's not straight out of a bottle like it has been for eight months because hashtag Canada. <laughs> Because there's no chin up bar up here, I'm just gonna do burpees and do like a plank march, I think it's called. But you'll see, you'll see. I'll do these instead of chin ups. Not a substitute, it's just something. is done some things about the pants super thin so if you're gonna sweat a lot they are awesome for that the band stayed up it's the exact same band as you have with the Nike combat pro shorts yeah very thin movable breathable issue biggest issue for me is yeah they're kind of see-through and I looked on the reviews online and unfortunately it is common with this pattern I feel if you're gonna get these I recommend a gray I asked some friends who I know have the black ones and they haven't found an issue I found some issues in the white ones so it seems to be the black and gray are your best bet, and the pattern, depending, the darker patterns are typically okay, but these, these are like a pretty dark pattern, but they got like the light shades in them, so yeah, they're kind of see-through. Your best bet is to try them on, or if you don't have time to try them on, do this. Typically with leggings, if you stretch them and they go white, that's usually a sign that they're gonna be not squat proof. Overall, these are good. They're great for running, they're great for weightlifting, more so upper body, not a leg day if they're gonna be see-through on you. They will break down to a dollar where my combat pros did. I talked to some people that know had them and they are great lower price pants. So they're not gonna be as durable as like $100 aloe yoga leggings or Wonder Under by Lululemon or one of the higher end Nikes, like a legend pants. These are more of the typical with competition of something like a Gymshark, a middle range. For a mid range legging, these are probably one of your best. They're gonna be more likely to be durable, less iffy because they're a bit more concrete and I do trust Nike. So if you want a pair of leggings that you're gonna wear maybe like once a week for about a year that you can wear in the summertime or as a base layer, these, these guys, pretty good, pretty good. They're not the best in the world. They have some faults, but they're not the most expensive. So, you know, that's what you get. The more expensive you pay, the more quality you're gonna get. The less you pay, less quality. And if that's not the case, 
either you found a unicorn or you're wasting your money. No pockets, so I guess, you know, if you need something to hide your thingamabobs, you're gonna need a bra that you can stuff stuff in. Because that is the real secret and the most benefit part of sports bras. Exit place to hide your stuff. The material's 80% polyester, 20% spandex. So like, not great quality. They're not gonna be like body sculpting or compressing, and they're just gonna be very much like a second skin, so just kinda lay on your skin. They're not gonna make it look slimmer. They're not gonna squeeze things in. It's just kinda gonna fall right with your body. So whatever shape you're rocking, that's what these pants are gonna make you rock. With the band, it will normally stay up if you get the right size. With these, you want it to be just like a slight compression feel when you first buy them because the band will stretch out over time and you want it to stay up. So if you get it too tight, you'll never wear it and you'll feel like constant muffin top. But if you get it at all loose, it's gonna lose shape and then before you know it, you're gonna be doing every time you wear them. Overall, I'm gonna give these an eight out of 10. They're not, they're very athletic, not athleisure, not lifestyle, so they lose a mark there. They're not always squat proof depending, so they lose a mark there. They have a bunch of different colors, they're a thin material, they're flexible, they're gonna work out with any kind of activity you do. Uh, they're gonna dry fast, they're gonna sweat wick, so they're awesome for that. And they're typically flattering. If you have shorter legs, get a longer cut. If you have longer legs, you can get away with a shorter cut. Of course, do you Pikachu, but that just tends to be the most slimming, elongating of your limbs, or shortening your limbs, depending what you're dealing with. So an eight out of 10, a moderate price. You're gonna break down to a dollar wear. They're gonna range from 50, 40 to $55, depending where you're on. You can find sales, oh, it's getting hot in here. And it's like, oh, it's like a greenhouse. Summer's here, summer's here. Let me know down in the comments if you guys have ever tried these, your thoughts on them. You know, just a pretty average pair of leggings. Nike, not your best, not your worst. Middle of the back. So there's my thought. So all my ladies who need a thin pair of leggings, you're gonna be good, you're gonna be okay. I'm actually gonna end the video here because I have to go home get this edited, uploaded, so it's ready to go for Friday morning for you guys because I'm off on a hike. So let me know in the comments. Oh, actually I'll be on the hike. I was gonna be like, tell me what you want me to review on the hike. When you're watching this, I'll be hiking, so surprise. Thank you for tuning in. Like always, my fellow mermaids, if you're new to this channel, feel free to hit subscribe if you wanna come on adventures with me as we take on the world, we do some fitness, we explore, we have fun, we pet dogs, we do stuff, we have some laughs. We do fit chick things, we'll have a brunch. You know how it is. If you've worn the Nike Cool Pros, comment below and let me know your thoughts so we can all get some secondary reviews. I'd love to hear how you guys like the items and let me know down in the comments anything you guys want me to review or bring on this channel. Thank you for tuning in. Like always, if you like this video, you can give it a thumbs up, you know. I always appreciate it. It's, it's nice, it nice, it helps the channel. But you know, no pressure, no pressure. Love you all so much.